don't know about you, but I can't even count how many photos I've ruined over the years because I accidentally focused on the wrong thing, the ball instead of the child or the water instead of the boat. Now imagine if you could change the focus after taking the picture. That's the idea behind the Lytro camera and, well, it's kind of amazing. The Lytro is the first light field camera for consumers, employing a technology that until now has been limited to scientific labs. It works by capturing all the light in a scene traveling in any direction. That's so much information that it allows the photographer or anyone who views the photo to dynamically change the point of focus. Lytro calls these living pictures and it's easy to see why. Look at this photo I took of San Francisco Bay. The railing in the foreground may not be the most interesting element, so just by clicking I can make the Bay Bridge the focus. People I share it with might think Yerba Buena Island is more interesting. Click and now it comes into focus. Or look at this close-up of Brussels sprouts at the Palo Alto Farmers Market. By clicking the viewer can focus on any part of the sprout, or even the ones in the background. While the technology is exotic, the camera itself isn't. It weighs less than 8 ounces, turns on instantly, there's no shutter lag, and it has an 8x optical zoom. Since you don't have to worry about focusing it, it's actually easier to use than conventional point-and-shoot cameras or even your smartphone. It costs $499 for a model that can hold 750 photos or $399 for 350 pictures. This being brand new technology, there are some limitations. There's no flash, it doesn't shoot video, and at the moment the software only works with Macs, although a Windows version is in the works. Also, at least for now, the only ways to share Lytro's living pictures will be on Facebook or via a link to Lytro's website. Introducing consumers to something this new is inherently tricky, but Lytro's done an impressive job of keeping things simple. You don't have to forget everything you know about taking pictures, just the part where you mess up the focus. For Bloomberg News and Business Week, I'm Rich Jaroslavsky.